Hey everybody, welcome back to Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in to our video here today. And I wanted to share with you the difference around the ego, the persona, and the shadow. We're gonna talk about some resources that we'll hand off to you and that you can check out. We'll put them in the details below. And I wanna share with you one of my teachers that really kind of helped me understand all of this. His name's Dr. Matt James with NLP.com. And one of the things that as I was going through trainings with him, I started to look at the ego from a different perspective. You know, a lot of people say, it's, you, you gotta kill the ego, the death of the ego. And I don't agree with that. I think that's like saying we don't need our conscious mind. Like, it doesn't play a role. Like, you, that's what separates us versus like other animals. Right, is our conscious mind. And so anyway, we want to talk about the ego. And he, my teacher really talks about how Carl Jung really had this path kind of clear. And I started studying Carl Jung and I started to understand what he was saying about that. And the difference is, let me put it in plain English, the ego is not good or bad, right? The only thing that is good or bad is the meaning that you attach to it. So it, it is what it is. But the ego, the difference is what you want to find out is do you have a healthy ego or do you have an unhealthy ego? See, if you have a healthy ego, that's like saying, you know what, I have challenges in my business and I'm gonna figure it out. I'm the type of person that can overcome any challenge. That's a healthy ego. The unhealthy ego is, you know, guys going out there saying, I can have any girl I want, right? I can figure it out, I can pick up any check. And it's like, mm, that might be a little unhealthy or like, I'm the man, like no one should talk to me that is below me. Like stuff like that is an unhealthy ego. So it's important to really identify your ego and if it's healthy or unhealthy. Your ego, if you wanna take some notes here, your ego is about all the, who you think you are, right? It's who you think you are. And so, it's like, I think I'm a coach. I think I'm a husband. I think I am an influencer online. Like that's who I think I am. And we're gonna talk about the shadow because by the law of dichotomy, we all have the, well, the dichotomy is of who you think you are is who you think you're not. And that is the shadow. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. Let's move to the persona. <clears throat> A persona is one that I find with clients all the time, and even myself, I'll share with you a little bit about that, but the persona that we wear, and the persona is, Lewis House talks about, he just had a book that came out called The Mask of Masculinity. I read it in like two days, or listened to it in two days. It was a good book. Um, really resonated with a lot of the things he said, so really, really cool stuff. And um, anyway, he talks about it be called, called a mask, and that's just another fancy word or simplified word for persona that Carl Jung, the famous psychologist, talks about. And so the persona is uh, this kind of mask that we wear, and is it clear or is it kind of dark? Like you, if you put this mask on, can we see your face or can we not see your face? And so I see so many people that wear, a, and a persona is not a bad thing. We all have it and we all wear it, right? Parents wear a persona, a mask with their kids than they do with their friends or at work, right? And so we all have a persona. The question is, is it clear? Is it healthy? Can we see through it? And so if we can't, then that means that the persona you're putting on is something that's fake. That's not who you are. Right? It's not who you are. So I always tell clients when I first start coaching them, I say, look, I'm the same person on the phone as I am online as I am in person. Like who you get's who you get. And I do wear a certain persona with my clients. Like we have structure to our calls and I'm there to support them. I have that persona that I wear. Whereas if we were to hang out, I still have that persona of who I am but it's it's transparent. I guess that's the best word I can say is it's transparent, you can see through. There's people who will get up on stage or they'll get behind the camera and they'll say this, that, and they, they perceive, or they make people perceive someone, or the, excuse me, <clears throat> they make themselves seem like someone that they're not. And 
and you know they might one good example is um, like rappers like they put on these videos and they have they think they're like you know this big baller they see money flying bottles popping yachts cars clubs all that stuff and then if you go behind the scenes in their life they're broke or they're struggling to get by and so that's the persona that they wear. Or let me go a layer deeper. <clears throat> Men, how many of you out there, you put on the persona of the tough guy, right? You gotta be this tough guy. That means you can't cry, you're emotionless, right? Because that's not being a man if you were to show emotion. You know, that's why I like Lewis Howe's book is because one of the things he talks about, it's kind of a great reframe around, hey, being a real man, being a masculine man is about expressing those motions, not suppressing them, but um, it's about kind of releasing them, experiencing them. Kyle Cease talks about this a lot, it's, you know, experiencing the emotion and then being able to release it, doing the release work for that. And that's one of the things I love helping clients do because otherwise we stuff it down and, you know, Western society teaches us to stuff our emotions down, our baggage, and we get out, we start creating all this emotional baggage and that'll be for another video. It's just, what's the persona that we're taught and which, which ones do you wear? So think about that. What personas do you wear that don't serve you, that allow you to have inauthentic friendships or relationships? If you're wearing a persona that's not clear with your partner, you're in the wrong relationship. Or you need to start shredding that mask and taking it off. And if your partner loves you enough, they're gonna still be there for you and they'll help you work, work through it. <clears throat> So we have the ego of who we think we are. We, have, we all have a persona. We wear many uh, different masks throughout our life. And then lastly is the shadow. It's kind of like what I was telling you about the opposite of your ego. So who you think you are is your ego and who you think you are not is your shadow. And this is where the shadow resides in the unconscious mind, right? The, um, the ego is a lot in the conscious mind. The shadow is in the unconscious mind and so that's where when you find yourself getting triggered, when you find you get like in, you're on the highway and there's traffic and you're getting angry or your partner does something or your business partner says something or someone on the street just walking by dressed a certain way, you get this emotional charge. That means that's unresolved baggage in your life, in your unconscious. And my teacher, Dr. Matt, teaches from the ancient Hawaiian lineage. And one of the things that he, the ancient Hawaiians believed that was when your baggage came up, unlike Western culture who tells you to suppress it, the ancient Hawaiians celebrated when their stuff came up because it meant that it was, that they were ready to deal with it, to release it, to clear it. And so one of the techniques that we use is a mental and emotional release and that really helps release a lot of the baggage that you've been storing away. And a lot of people, they don't work on this, right? This is where clients come to me and they, they think they wanna make more money, but they always self-sabotage because emotionally they're not fit enough, their emotional intelligence isn't there, and their baggage is always being lit up, so they self-sabotage. So we help clear out all that baggage. We give them the tools, the resources, and strategies to be able to be at peace and how to deal with those emotions and those triggers when they come up because you're always gonna experience emotions through this life. Tony Robbins says it really well. He says, the quality of your life is in direct proportion to the quality of the emotional experiences that you have. And so I started to think about that and I'm like, man, I gotta learn how to be emotionally fit because when I'm emotionally fit, what that does is that allows me in certain situations to show up as a different person, right? And so we are, when we show up as a different person in a, in a moment where we're triggered, all of a sudden, we get a different result, right? We get a different result. Let me give you a quick example. <clears throat> if you got triggered by your partner and you normally would get angry, frustrated, pissed off, and you released the baggage and you weren't as emotionally triggered, so you didn't react as intensely, and then you also had the tools to kind of deal with that emotion in the moment and release it and show up in a different state and change your state, all of a sudden you start showing up curious, um, empathetic, loving, caring. Do you think you would get a different result? 
You bet. And so there's a lot of people out there, I'm fascinated about people who are shadow coaches, who do shadow work as uh, with their clients. And I do it a lot now because I see the power in it. I see the ripple effect that it has down the line. And so what is the ego? What is the persona? What is the shadow? You wanna make sure that you are addressing all of these in your life. And so if some of this makes sense to you and you know that, hey, I got a lot of baggage that's coming up. I got a lot of shadow work to do or, you know, I'm living in an unhealthy ego place and you're looking for help to overcome that. Well, hey, reach out to me. Leave a comment below. Say, hey, Joe, I need some help. Help me work through this. I want to become the best version of myself. Either I will help you. We'll work out where we can connect there. You can work with one of our coaches here at Master Life by Design. You can even work with Christina. However, we can help support you we want to so just know this is a video for you guys to be able to kind of get an idea get the ball rolling around that so I would invite you to check out Carl Young and start studying a little bit about him dr. Matt James he's another great person who teaches this and then I will be diving in a little bit more deep in future episodes so that you can be able to see the difference and go in depth with each of them and how to overcome those for you so if you like that, if you enjoyed this video, please like the button. If you're new, subscribe for Master Life by Design. We enjoy everyone and we appreciate all of you. Look, here's what I know. You were meant to be here for a reason. There's a path that you're on. You're on this journey of life and that you have something great that you want to accomplish in this world and some things might be holding you back as you start to release them as you, and you're worth releasing those things that are holding you back. It's worth it and you're worth it. And so when you release that, all of a sudden you can have this clear path to go after what you want, to be what you want, give what you want. And all of a sudden life starts to shift and you have no idea how quickly your life can shift and turn around so quickly. Some of you out there, you might be struggling. You might think, I never have an opportunity to shift. And I will tell you, you that's false. That's not true. Your life can turn around in a heartbeat. Life can become more extraordinary. Life can be more loving, more playful, more fun. And you can have all of that. It just takes getting a couple things out of the way and removing some of that baggage for you to be able to get there. And obviously, like I will say in a lot of my videos, two things, you gotta take action, number one. And if you would feed your mind as much as you feed it, fed your body, your life would go in an entirely different direction. So with that, know that you are more than enough. You can have everything that you want and dream. So go out there, life is for you to take it as you see fit. So with that, go out there and make today count. Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Enjoy, guys.